We continue our focus on Malawi this week. Africa 54's managing editor Vincent Makori is in the southern African country where overfishing is taking a toll on Lake Malawi. Overfishing on Lake Malawi is a huge problem and a source of concern. And this is because for millions of Malawians, this lake is a source of livelihood. Now, there is a variety of reasons why there is overfishing on Lake Malawi. One is the use of bad fishing methods, such as this mosquito net, which actually scoop up even the baby fish from the lake. The next reason is overpopulation. Now, for years, there was no need for license to go to the lake to fish. And therefore, there have been more and more people going to the lake to fish. There are efforts on the ground to help conserve the fish and also repopulate this lake. Lamek Messina brings you that report. A crowd of fish traders gathers each afternoon and evening at a beach in the Makawa area waiting for the haul from fishermen. But many of them return home empty-handed because of the increasing scarcity of fish in the lake. For example, today, those of us who fished in the lake only caught enough to fill two five-liter pails, which will only sell for about MK2000 each. This is a huge loss for us. Some fishermen say the fish have been depleted because of climate change. Others point to the increase of fishing vessels on the lake, resulting in stiff competition for the catch. The scarcity have forced the fishermen to double the price sold to the traders. Whenever they catch low fish, they sell to us at MK 70,000 per crate. But if we have to bargain when we sell it, we only make MK 65,000. To traders, this means we take some losses and we fail to feed our families. And the dwindling catch has also forced the seasoned fish traders out of business, with many of them switching to other alternatives, like Joseph Maida, who is a livestock farmer now. It's like I'm killing two birds with one stone. I use a dung for making composite manure. When I have run out of cash, I kill one goat and sell the meat. Meanwhile, the government is trying to sensitize communities on regulations designed to reduce overfishing. These include a ban on some fishing nets and a two-month annual ban on fishing in the lake from November 1 to December 31. We have this uh, period which we call closed season where some fishing gears and fishing methods are prohibited. Uh, this is actually the time when fish do breed. So it's like we are trying to give some, some time to fish to, to freely breed and also grow. Lakeside communities have formed committees to help reinforce the regulation. In some areas, the villagers have set up bylaws which have instant penalties to those violating the regulations. We burn fishing nets as penalty for violating bylaws to protect our environment for our children's future. We can't allow bad fishing practices to continue. In addition, the communities are lobbying the government to extend the annual two-month ban on fishing to five months in hopes the fish population will grow. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Mangochi. Lamek Masina is traveling through the Southern African nation with Vincent Makori. Stay tuned for all week for more reporting from our Africa 54 team. And on Friday, we'll bring you a special co-production with our news affiliate there, Zodiac TV. Stay tuned for that.